Other prohibiting factors, you can't be a felon. You can't be in this country illegally. You also can't buy a gun if you have a court order against you for harassing, stalking, or threatening a partner or their child. For the now, I'm Jace Larson. The Air Force, Marines, and Navy have all told CNN they've been reviewing old records. The Army said it would be inappropriate to comment because of a lawsuit about this very issue. So far, the Department of Defense has not said anything about the number surge, and the Pentagon is still investigating how the Air Force failed to report in the first place. Some new flu treatments are in the works right now, but they won't be on the market for this awful flu season we've had. Uh, the drug maker out of Japan claims it could cure the flu in 24 hours. By comparison, you have to take Tamiflu two times a day for five days. The Wall Street Journal reports this new flu pill could be ready by next year. Meantime, Johnson & Johnson also working on a drug that blocks the genetic material in a lot of flu viruses from replicating. It's also working on a universal flu vaccine that could protect against multiple versions of the flu, but they say that's still a ways off. Well, weigh in on this one online if you like. A server at Outback Steakhouse in Florida was fired after she posted on social media that a mega church did not tip her on a $735 takeout order. Church says they sent a volunteer to go pick up the food and the volunteer didn't know about the church's policy to tip on takeout orders. Service says she became upset when she didn't get a tip and posted about it on Facebook. But Outback Steakhouse fired her because it doesn't allow its workers to post about customers. I feel that we should be allowed to say something, especially to big parties that don't leave anything, that pay the exact amount. I, I still feel the same way and I probably still do it the same way today. I wouldn't change anything. Church says it called the restaurant the next day to offer the waitress a tip and that it never intended for her to lose her job. Former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama joining other first couples in the Smith.